Hello. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> um I I accidentally sent the the wrong code message. A lot a lot of those codes are expired, so I I fixed it. I fixed it. My bad. Though those are the new active and working Honkai Star Rail codes. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Hello, everyone, by the way. Sorry, stream was so delayed. It was storming really bad. If, if you don't know, it was storming super duper bad for me. Uh, my, my power kept flickering. It, it did become a bit more stable, but I didn't want stream to get cut short and to, to ruin anything like that so i just decided to wait until the the lightning kind of stopped um because i i didn't want stream to get like you know stopped because my power's going out or my internet's going out or anything like that um and I also didn't want my power to go out while doing all of the stream stuff and something break. You know, no one, no one wants that. <laughs> no one, no one wants that. I missed you guys too. I was, I was off yes yesterday. What? What am I on about? I wasn't off yesterday. I was off Monday. And I, I had a short stream Tuesday. I mean, it was four hours, but it was still, you know, short. Oh, my mic was a bit fucky wucky there. I hope I fixed it. Oh, I hope you, I hope you guys were able to hear me. Oh my god, anime fan. You're supposed to be a new good mod. You're supposed to be one of the good ones, anime fan. Yeah, again, we are experiencing the fact that Dinobot hates me. So, as always, when I do send that go live message here in about a minute, I, I, I do like to give it 10 minutes just to see if it will post. I'm proud of you, Ace. Good job. Um, also, also... Um, Ace, you are first. Unknown, you are second. Super duper sorry. It happens to the best of us. Not a Drix. Hello, hello, hello. Anime fan, hi as well. Hello, everyone. I know I got all of you this time because, again, it's not wanting to post my go live message, but that's fine. It happens. We, we do things the old fashioned way. Oh. I've been posting the wrong message this whole time. Boink. Boom. Now everyone should know I'm live. A Sarlai. Hello, hello. Thank you. Well, oopsie daisies. It happens, it happens. 
um but yes welcome welcome in everyone i do have a bit of the sups i'm not gonna lie i i've been trying not to drink a lot of caffeine recently uh my sleeping schedule has been messed up but it is it's affecting me too much i'm starting to get my my migraines So I do have some peach tea. Uh, gamer subs going on right now. But I think it is time. I think it is time to honk that rail. I do, I do. Okay, so give me give me two seconds. Boom. Now we're over here. Um here. Uh let me I'm gonna go ahead and do this event. I, I already did some yesterday off stream just so I can, you know, <laughs> work, work towards it. Oh fuck, I can't. I can't, even if I wanted to. Here, I, I like everyone. I like everyone. Yes. I don't know if this helps people out by loud. Oh, okay. I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate. Oh, I'm, I'm on the run. Okay. I have to, to like all of my friends. Oh, I can't like me. That's fine. Anyway, enough of that, I guess. How do I get more? Eight hours. I get more in eight hours. Well, shit. That's 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 what I was gonna do while I waited for more people to get in here. Okay, I hydrate now. Yeah, I, I, I still like to drink my caffeine. I really only have like two to four servings of gamer subs a day on average. Um, and I I mostly drink water if I'm not drinking that. And I, I try not to drink any gamer subs past 4 p.m. EDT because I try not to have any like strong like source of caffeine like eight hours before bed. Uh, but sometimes it, it can't be helped, so I made me, I made me two servings of my peach tea gamer sups. It's literally my favorite flavor. I, I've, I've had multiple flavors now, multiple of like the sample packs, uh, multiple tubs. Peach tea is by far my favorite one. Oh, I'm almost out of it. It makes me sad. But I, I cannot get any more special passes. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. We're gonna go, we're gonna go warp. We're gonna go warp, guys. Okay, we're, we're pulling. We're pulling right now. Wait. Okay, no, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna do the 20. We're gonna do, we're gonna do the 20 pulls and then I'll do another 10 afterwards. This is 10 pulls. I, I have a guaranteed 50-50 on Acheron because I failed Sparkle with 82 pulls and I lost the 50-50. I got a Pella. Nice. I'm cool with that. I use Pella. Hi, Karumi. Don Hong. Sure. That's whatever. Um. Off to 20. Number 20.
I got her. Damn. Well, fuck. Now I can get the light cone. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Gets Acheron on 20. Gets Acheron on 20. Let's go. Yippee. Um, Delish, obviously you should add me. You should obviously add me, Delish. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Jokes on anyone just coming in. This is actually just a video. <laughs> Yes, as a vampire. If you if you have any questions on like how my lore of vampires work and like me, uh feel feel free to message me. I I will try to respond in uh It it it, it wasn't. That that was just me joking around. I pulled Acheron on 20 pulls. Let me do my Pella Eidolon. Oh, wait, I got two Pellas. Let's go! E6 Pella, finally. Let me do my Don Hong Eidolon. Yippee, cool, cool, cool. And uh, you guys already know. We're gonna fucking bump her up. Um... I don't think I'm going to use her just this very, very second because I want to get gear for her and stuff. Let me let me get that free pull. Okay, we're 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 <laughs> we're gonna go test our luck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but yes, uh, guys, guys, if you're coming in, we do have brand new Honkai Star Rail codes. Please be sure to, uh, you know, go go use them, get some jade. We also have drops on, guys, so stick around for that as well. We love drops. We love drops. We really do. That I, th I think you get like 30, 60. Where's the codes? They're pinned. They're, they're pinned. Are they not pinned again? Am I crazy? Is is is, is the Twitch pinning breaking again? Okay. Uh. <laughs> crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room, exactly! A rubber room. And you wouldn't believe it, but the rubber room also had rats. You know, I, I, I was lucky with the Acheron pull that I, I did pull Acheron on 20. Uh, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little proud of that one. Um, but... Um, I, I did lose Sparkle with 82 pulls to Japard. So I, I did have a guaranteed 50-50 for my Acheron pull. But I got her on 20. So that uh, at least I didn't have to pull her like 80 times to win that 50-50.
Streamer luck, SMH. Echo, I fucking literally last banner for Sparkle. I wanted Sparkle. We are twinsies. Um, I pulled for her 82 times. I was getting so desperate. I was doing single pulls. Singular pulls. And uh, it didn't work. Also, we are going to be doing the new Trailblaze missions as well, so I would just like to say after after I get some, like, character things done and out of the way, um, we are going to be moving over to story as well, but I want to get some of the the farming out of the way i am trying to level up my acheron gotta pay my mods shit i wasn't i wasn't actually prepared to like Fucking do that. Oh, I think I have my audio turned. <laughs> Oopsie. Don't get careless. This is what happens when you Relax. grind Honkai <laughs> in your own free time, but you don't really want to listen to like the fighting constantly. You just want to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> What about the mods? I I like to use my mods. Um, well, what what do you call the support characters as like payment? Uh, luck comes and goes. Luck, luck's a uh, a busy man. Luck's doing luck things, and that's perfectly okay. I I can't expect every single one of my mods to be here twenty four seven for me. Um, since they are like volunteered, <laughs> you know. Yes, luck is a man. Um, I, I do have um, the pronouns in the Discord server. And uh, a lot of some people will get the roles that are um, for them. What am I doing? Barry, what are you doing? What's happening? Catch yourself back up. Okay, we're, we're just gonna do this again. <laughs> we're just gonna do this again. Um... Anime fan, I'm not going to be doing story currently at the moment, but I, when, when I am going to be moving over to the story, I'm based, right now, I'm going to be doing all of my normal grind things. Ow. Delish! Thank you for the 50 biddies! Um, I, I, I will be announcing vocally that I am going to be going through the new story that came out with this update. Um, and I will also be changing my stream title to something along the lines of new story spoiler warning or something along those lines. Um, because... I understand a lot of other people are playing this game. Maybe they're just getting into the game and I don't 
Or, you know, they're just a little bit behind on the story. They've, they've been busy with other things. Perfectly fine, completely understandable. I recently just had to get caught up myself on this story. But, uh, I'm after that jade. <laughs> okay, if, if I can get Acheron's light cone, given that I got her on 20 pulls, that would be pretty cool. Um, but at the, at the current moment, I am trying to get her just like fully leveled up as much as I can. How much did I need? Seven? Six? Um, so I'm, I, I am going to be pulling for her light cone as well. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to run it some more. Make a wish. A starlight. I'm not even hanging out with the man. Lux just the person who came into my stream and was like, "Hey, I can mod for you." Same as Kurumi. And I a anime fan as well, right? Anime fan, you go by you go by he him. I'm sorry. I'll never talk to a male ever again. What about GMT? <laughs> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. No, we're we're going off of uh my my mods. And how I think all of I think all of my mods are they they go by he him. They're men. <laughs> Fodder. <laughs> Don't get careless. Nap time. Relax. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Save it for your own skin. <laughs> Destiny isn't ill fate to send. Say bye to breathing. God damn it, Silver Wolf. Blade of Moonlight. I don't smell. What like what is wrong with you guys? Stand still. You're supposed to like love me. <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> if I'm so stinky, why are you Time here? Boom. Nothing, Kurumi. <laughs> That's eight. <laughs> Pity, damn. Relax. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You do good to me. You guys better you love me. May as well kill Why am I here if you don't? <laughs> Mind your manners. Um. Well, for the people who are curious, with the like scent products that i use to bathe myself as well as perfume and other things i i smell like cherries a little tad bit of vanilla and some type of earthy mossy kind of like earthy smell <laughs> stand still 
Yes, cherries. I I don't know how to describe the earthy smell, but it it's like a earthy scent. Uh, but cherry. Cherries definitely like the kind of dirt smelling. Have you ever smelt fur? Like like fur, like from like a cat or something. Like have you ever? And it kind of has that like earthy. No, not wet fur. Not wet fur. <laughs> Just if you've ever smelled like taxid, like a taxidermied, like clean fur, it kind of has that like earthy, not dirt, but it's not wood, but it's not grass. <sighs> you guys hate me. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it. it is a scent that you probably more than likely find in a lot of, like, male cologne. Um, because they always, like, colognes always kind of come off very musky. Like, I don't, I don't know how... I don't know how to explain it, but cherry, a hint, a slight hint. If you didn't know the vanilla was there, you wouldn't, I don't think you would know the vanilla is there. You would probably just be like smelling some type of sweet um, and like some type of earthy, musky scent that the closest I can say is like the forest or moss. Which I guess is still in relation to the forest. It's very, it's a foresty smell. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it other than a forest. Time to say bye. Boom. Didn't hurt. Nap time. Relax. I think I have to do one more. Don't get careless. Stand still. Just a little something. But yeah, I don't know. I I, I hope that helps you guys understand. I don't stink unless you don't like the smell of cherries and wood like forest shiny berry <laughs> nap time relax what do you want to know ill tidings manifest may as well kill him all Time to say bye. Boom. Ready for death? Ah, uh, glasses. Oh my goodness. Do 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 do. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. That'll take more than medicine. Seems I've been waiting a while. The <laughs> people are customizing you facts. Stand still. Ill fate descends. I think I'm good now. I think that's enough. I kind of stopped keeping count. Do 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 do. Uh, Acheron, Ascent, 
That's just enough. That's insane. Okay, now she's up to level 70. I can't go past that. Macaron is a hottie. Hold on. Ugh. Oh, oh, more free pool. We we do that. More more free pool. Yeah. We love getting nothing. Woo! Ha ba 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 ba. As I did promise and say, I will be making her my support character. She's not currently built at the current moment, but she will be, I promise. I'm I'm working on that right now. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'll hydrate. I'll hydrate. Momo, I'm doing good. Yeah, let's turn on the lo-fi. The lo-fi going a little hard. Ugh. Um... I am gonna be pulling for her light cone, but until then... Um... Honestly, I could throw that on her. I could throw good night and sleep well on her, I think. Um, I don't really plan to fully level it up until I know for a fact I have or don't have the light cone. Um... Shit, I forgot about these. Okay, we'll get there. Um, I don't think I have all of it. I do not. Darny darn darn. Well, that's one of them. Do 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 Assignments. I love that they did this by the way. It's great. I'm not fully forgetting about the skills. I just just wanted to go farm first off. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'll I'll level it all up now. Promise. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> what is up with you Benagoni people and needing the fucking beetle? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I hate this beetle. I hate that fucking beetle. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's fine. I have enough. Yes, yes. Oh my god. The grind never does stop. Nap time. Ill tidings manifest. 
May as well kill him off. Oh yeah, I hope y'all are having a good day. Stand down. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Here, you know what? We'll we'll just throw on auto and I'll I'll talk to you guys because I don't really need to focus on this. <laughs> I've also had like a PB and J sandwich in front of me, like practically like the hour I've been streaming, which we are almost coming up to an hour. Stand still. <laughs> Echo, I did not. Time to say bye. I, I will be starting the the new quests. I don't know if I'll be finishing it because I don't know how much it added, but I will be starting the the new quests today. Um, at some point. Um, after I get my daily grind out of the way. Better. Building up Acheron right now, at least in a mild sense, um, is really important to me right now. <laughs> Stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Later, moonlight. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Relax. In lunar flame. That's better. Uh? <laughs> Time to say bye. Yeah. Um... Nap time. I'm honestly just trying to give you guys Acheron as well. She she is one of my support characters. Um, and I am actively building her. So it, she she's already level 70. I know, I know. I'm still a little baby. But she is level 70 already. I'm working on leveling up her skills. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> In lunar flame. Uh, and also, by the way, to anyone curious, uh, my supports, I'll, I'll pull them up for you right now. Um, Kafka built Black Swan built Acheron building. Um, I, I have a full on mommy team going on here. I have to hydrate. Hold on. I, I'm working on it. Mm. 
But I... Oh, yes, and if, if any of you would like to add me, here you go. That There's my, my copy. You're, you are free to add me, by the way. I do not mind at all, I promise. Um... Oh, yeah, Acheron. I really don't want to go for those at the current moment just because I really don't want to fight that beetle. So we're just gonna level up the base things that I can at the current moment. Hopefully I can get it um, up to what I need it to be uh, where it caps out. But no promises. Okay, now I'm starting to run out of things, but since I am pretty close, I'm going to keep farming and pushing them. Uh, you got this, Momo. Actually, just because, I'm, I'm simply just going to throw recommended gear onto her. Uh... Because I kind of, I kind of want to throw her onto my team. <laughs> um, I know she's not going to be as built as my Kafka, but I think I'm just going to swap out my Kafka with her for the, the current moment. No. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Retreat. Naughty child. Hmm. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't take me long to get the things for Acheron. It's just with where I'm currently at in the game, I don't I didn't have that full on ability to just grind out the items for Acheron. Um, especially since I never know if I'm going to get them. It's never like a guarantee for me because even though I, I'll, I'll get on this game every day, um, even when I'm not streaming it and get my logins and try to do some quests, I never have enough jade to fully get all of them, which is fine. Um, but I just didn't want to pre-grind for something I knew I might not get and then waste all of that time, which I mean, like it, it would still be useful in the future, but like, I, I could put that towards other things, but since I have her, I'm grinding out her stuffs. Now, one thing that I can say 
to all of the Acheron enjoyers. Um, I don't have Sparkle. I don't have uh, Silver Wolf or the um, Fushwan. I think that's how you say her name. The the Diviner girl. <laughs> The pink haired diviner girl. I don't have her. So. I'm so smart. Look at me and my pronunciations. Yeah, but I don't have Gallagher. Delish, thank you for the 10 biddies. Like, my my healing support, I think, is just going to be my gnat, honestly. I, I've put, put a lot of time and effort into my gnat. Uh, my Pella is E6 now, officially. That's better. On the still waters of oblivion. I like this. I, I I like not having to do like even though I don't have to focus on this normally if I'm actively doing it. I like just being able to put it into auto and talk to you guys. Yeah, for like a I don't I don't know, like actual support, because Nat's my healer, but for my actual support, I, I feel like Pella's pretty good. I, I've been putting a lot of effort into my Pella as well. In fact, my Black Swan is lacking because I don't want to farm that fucking beetle. And, and now I'm going to have to farm the beetle twice. Because my Black Swan and Acheron need the fucking beetle. I swear, if adventuring... I don't know if I'm gonna get adventuring, but if adventuring also needs that beetle, I'm gonna cry. What is up with the Pentacony people needing the beetle? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Let's go. Oh, let's. F I see. I I wanted I wanted Acheron more than Adventurine and knowing my luck I would get Acheron but I wouldn't be able to get Adventurine. I'll I'll be pulling. Like, oh guaranteed. Um I, I will be pulling for all of the, the new uh characters. Uh but whether I get them or not. Yeah, Adventurine. Yeah. Um, but I I haven't looked at the things Adventurine needs for his, like, building, because, um, I don't think I'm going to get him. So, it is irrelevant to me <laughs> until I do. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's nope here. Go here. I can't get any more of those. So we're gonna have to go here. Welcome back, Kurumi. Constructing dreams is something sacred. Guests aren't supposed to be here. Make a wish. Oh shit, oh shit, oh, run, 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 run. Barry. You don't have a built team. Now you do. That'll take more than <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. <clears throat> that nap time. Destiny isn't choked. Ill fate descends. Free will yippee, destiny. yippee. Enemy data 
You know, for not being built at all, <laughs> she she don't do bad damage. Ready for another? That'll take more. Ill tidings manifest. On the still waters of oblivion. Okay, I'm going to be actually lazy and do this one by one so I don't have to keep doing that when not needed. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Enemy targets detected. Yippee! Nap time. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate descends. Destined for oblivion. Yippee! What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Another journey. Huh. Commencing support. <gasps> Another blood debt repaid. I know one thing though. I hate like the the uh The, like, mobs in Penacony. How the fuck do I get- where am I going? Oh. This way. It was this way. Stream four. The gleam of old. Ah! Well. Enemy data sick net marker activated. Time oh well. <gasps> That'll take nap time. Destiny is ill fate descends. Mind your manners. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. That's half the work. On the still waters of oblivion. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Time for a shot. <laughs> uh. Ba 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 ba. Oh my god, why do I keep going there? No! Uh Okay, I go EPs now. I got works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anime fan. Good night. Go good get good EB sleepy. 
I... I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I I think I stopped doing that. I think I stopped doing this for a bit. Um ads are going to be starting here soon, guys. So when when those do pop, I will be running to the bathroom real quick. Uh, I think we go try to get Relic. Uh, for simplicity, I am going to put my Kafka back in the team. And there are the ads. I will be right back. Mwah.
Hello, hello. I am back. Hello, hello, hi. Miyuki. Also, guys, don't forget to uh, claim your drops. Don't forget to claim your drops. Of course, Miyuki. Of course. Do -do -do -do. Miyuki, I got Acheron. Relax. Stand down. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Mind your manners. Say bye to breathing. I'm I know. I'm I'm currently in the process of trying to get like a simple little simple thing going on. But I hate this fucking beetle man. Nap time. Stand still. I hate this fucking beetle. I still don't have my fucking sparkle. I'm I'm still upset about that. Just a little I, I could have continued trying to pull for her, but I just... I on I, I think it was best to, uh... Give up. <laughs> give up on Sparkle after the 82 pulls for Japard. to say bye Boom. I don't really want the cowboy I kind of really don't like the cowboy Nap time. stand still huh. Ill tidings manifest <laughs> try harder Say bye. Boom. Not Attribution will find you. Nap time. Stand still. Ill fate descends. Yeah. Pity, pity do be a bit rough. But that's fine. I'm chilling. I like playing this game. I like streaming this game. And when I have to grind for eight years, for one thing, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Because, you know, I... <laughs> What piece did I get? Damn. Anyway. Listen, my nat gear takes top priority. I don't care. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Um, what else is there to do? I'm out of that. Oh yeah. I guess there I guess there is simulated. Yippee, let's go. Yep. We love simulated. Doom, 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 doom. Um, I guess we try to do eight again. Why not? You know, wait, I've done eight. Wait, what? So, oh. Oh, okay, so then we do eight. Cool, whatever. We do eight. Stand still. Uh. You guys on the segs, man. You get you guys you guys love the segs. Destiny isn't Ill tidings manifest. May as well kill them all. I I think I think Segs and Berry Bop are my most used um emotes across all of Twitch. Like not even in like my like stream. Like when you guys fuck when you guys are like in other channels as well, like Twitch streams. It's quite literally my most used emo across all of Twitch. What do you want to do? Segs and berry bop. I think that's really funny. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Ow. Memories are ever changing. Thank you for the hydrate. The waters lies an endless abyss. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. And the head pat. <gasps> Enemy data signet markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <sighs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Stand still. Tidings manifest. Damn. Do 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 do.
foreboding sign. Make a wish. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Momo Rail, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot to me. Holy shit. Yippee. Yippee. Enemy status and net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Nap time. Relax. Destiny is ill fate to send. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. We love berry emotes. Though followers do get free ones, but I understand. I understand. You want them all. Naughty child. Nap time. Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Enemy status net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Relax. <laughs> uh? Ill fate descends. <sighs> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Commencing support. Enemy data signet marker I I love how I haven't built any of my characters, so when it comes to doing these worlds, um, it sucks. <laughs> because I only have like one that does damage. The rest are good, but just the uh, no. What do you, what do you call it? Like elements don't line up properly. Perda. Thanks. I need to get those arrow code ones because knowledge i i haven't i haven't done them yet so i might as well get them even if i like fail i might as well get them for the um the jade for getting it you know destiny is a pair ill tidings manifest is this the new world no this is like eight <laughs> this is like world eight i i'm a baby who do you think i am We have the upper hand. <gasps> Enemy data sick net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Naughty child. No, the new one has the fucking beetles. Okay. Stand still. Destiny is apparent. Is the fucking beetles. May as well kill them all. No, no, not fun. Not fun. I hate the beetles. The swarm? The swarm needs to not exist. <laughs> it hurts my feelings. We have the upper hand. Huh? <gasps> 
Memories are ever changed. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Relax. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Enemy data secure. I'm I'm going abundance just because I can't die. Nap time. Stand still. Ill fate descends. If I actually had like a proper team set up to do good damage again, like in this world, I would not be running abundance. But the fact that it takes me forever to hurt anything. I I'm just going the invincible route. Take more than medicine. Nap time. Relax. Enemy data signet marker activated. Time for good old counter attack. I want, I want Huo Huo really badly. But I don't know when Huo Huo will be back or Ron May. And I just, yeah. It's time to say bye. Boom. Make a wish. Does that hurt? By the ten lords. When I when I have the jade pretty soon, I, I only need one more pull. I will be doing a ten pull on the weapon banner. Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. Say bye to breathing. For Acheron. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Huh? Ser server? Ser server? Time for a shot. Nap time. Enemy data secure. Net marker oh. Activated. Time for good old counter attack. <laughs> By the temple. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Commencing <laughs> support. <laughs> Nap time. Relax. We have the upper Good hand. time. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Memories of beneath the waters lies in ah, the Yippee. An enemy data sick net marker activated. Time for good old counter attack. Component damage. Data secure. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Uh, Just let my Kafka hit you. <laughs> 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 
What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Surrender. There goes my fucking pellet. Okay. Say bye to breathing. <laughs> I'm okay. The one character I actually need in this world. Stand still. Destiny isn't true. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Ill fate descend. Retribution will find you by the temple. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Component damage. Suppress. Subdue. By the temple. Ow, ow, okay, okay, I hydrate, I hydrate, and thank you for the head pads. I'm drinking water. When when you guys redeem hydrate, I drink water. I do have my my sups to the side here, but when you guys hydrate me, I I hydrate with water. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. I hate this bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> say bye to breathing. Ill tidings manifest. Direct raid. Suppress. By the ten lord. May as well kill them all. <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill fate descend. Yippee. Come back, fella. Thank you. Okay, I don't trust to pass that. Uh, eight. That's, that's honestly all I can remember. I, I think it's the deer. Hmm. They don't oh, happy to see us. it is not the deer. <laughs> I was incorrect. This kid's gonna whoop my ass. Ill tidings manifest. 
May as well kill them all. I'm just warming up. <laughs> Enemy data secure. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're too good to me. Ready for another? Yeah. Stand still. Ill fate descends. Nap time. <laughs> Ill tidings manifest. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Relax. Enemy data secure. Net marker activated. Time for good old ba 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 ba. Cutting the net. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. Time for a shot. <laughs> Stand still. Destiny is an ill fate to send. <laughs> Ready for another? <laughs> Exhilarating. Well, I got to phase two. I always can get through phases one and two, but then I get to three and I'm like fucked. <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Oh. Punish evil. It didn't hurt. <laughs> May as well Enemy kill them all. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> good time. Time to say bye. Boom. Ill fate descends. <laughs> Memory beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Didn't hurt. I'm just warming up. Nap time. Stand still. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You're all in on it. Ready for another? Say bye to breathing. Ill tidings manifest. Relax. No, 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 no. I pressed R. I pressed R. I meant to do that beforehand, but it's okay. It's fine. Huh. Rip Pella. Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Nap time. Stand still. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Cut through the rest. Not even Bro, that hurts. Relax. Destiny is an ill fate to send. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. That hurts. Memories beneath the waters <laughs> lies an endless abyss. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill fate descends. <laughs> You're all in on it. I'm actually gonna fucking lose here. I just don't have a turn. Destiny and my Nat's dead. Good time. Time to say bye. Boom. Well, I knew I could get the third. Punish evil. Oh. Fuck. Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. 
Like, I'm always confident in my ability to get to the third phase, but like on the third phase, I swear, I just get like fucked. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. I just don't get a turn. It's fine. It's okay, it's okay. I got that, Jade. Come here, get my curio thing, Ima Bobby. Let's get this. Let's get you added. Let's get that's it. That that's everything to get. But we're gonna go here. We're gonna do this. Okay. And then we're gonna do a ten pull. We're gonna do a ten pull on the weapon banner. I've never pulled on a weapon banner. Lit. Uh, yeah, no, I, I've never, I've never pulled on a weapon banner. I've never had enough jade to pull for the weapons particular. Um, okay, you know what time it is? I think it's story time. Um, I, I could go through and sit there for another hour going through simulated universe, and I, I should. I, I really should grind through it. Uh, Sparkle's gone. Uh, Sparkle is, um... Uh... Sparkle's gone. <laughs> Sparkle, Sparkle's banner's gone now. Um, it, it's now Acheron. And I guess Luotra if you, if you want to, but... Acheron, I got Acheron on 20 pulls. Here we go. Acheron. Um, I am in the slow, slow process of building her up to be a usable character, but I am out of, like, energy. And, um, yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, Echo, you have a good night. Thank you for being here and hanging out and all of that stuff. Um. But what do you guys think? Should I should I try to go through world eight again to um for one finish or at least try to I don't think I will, but try to finish my um simulated universe or should I continue on with the story? Because really what I'm trying to do is get my Trailblaze level up and get some Jade. And don't worry, I, I will be finishing my Simulated. I will I will finish my SU. I just, I don't know. I, I don't want to like bore you guys. I feel like you guys kind of want to see me do the story. I'm still going to be here a while, so I guess there's no harm. Like, I've only been streaming for almost two hours.
Okay, should I go back with abundance? Or should I go with something else? What do you guys think? I, I am down to try anything. What boss? The the same one. Same one. Manching. Yeah. I I'll give it a go. Commencing support. <gasps> That'll be nap time. Stand still. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> I hope I can. God damn it. That'll take more than... <laughs> Relax. Ill fate descends. Say bye to breathing. <laughs> That'll nap time. Sneaking around, are you? Make a wish. Bro, 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 bro. bro uh, ha, ha, ha. I wasn't expecting you to run at me like that. <laughs> I got scareded. Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. Damn. It was a gamble. It was a gamble. Stand still. Destiny is ill tidings manifest. May as well kill them all. Enemy data secure net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. That nap time. Relax. Destiny. Ill fate descends. I'm okay. Say bye to breathing. Commencing support. Stand still. Another occurrence.
Meat. Meat. We are coming up on an hour pretty soon, as always. I I run some ads, I run to the bathroom, wiggle out, stretch, refill my water, you know, whatever I really gotta do. But we're we're still a bit away from that as well. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Do we still have the upper hand? <gasps> Naughty child. Nap time. Relax. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. May as well kill them all. Huh. <laughs> 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 Enemy data six net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Stand still. Time for a shot. Nap time. Destiny isn't ill fate to send. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Good time. Never time to say bye. Boom. Lensing support. Ready for another? Relax. Naughty child. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh? Ow. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Enemy data sick net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> That'll take nap time. Stand still. Time oh to my goodness. Boom. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Commencing support. <gasps> huh? Yippee. Fuck. Herda. We have enemy data sick net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Relax. Ill fate descends. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> time for a sh nap time. Stand still. Good times. Never let time to say bye. Boom. We have the upper hand. We are getting through it. Naughty child. Nap time. Ill tidings manifest. Beneath the waters lies an endless. Abyss. It just takes forever. That that's why I don't like this. It just Maybe takes so long.
make a wish. Does that hurt? Commencing support. Yeah, I just have to build her. I knew I had a guaranteed 50-50, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to get enough pulls for her, and then i get her in 20 pulls. It's it's insane. I didn't want to do that. But you can't cancel ults. <laughs> Well, do we still have the upper hand? <gasps> time for a shot. Nap time. Relax. Destiny isn't true. <laughs> May as well kill them all. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. Stand still. Enemy data net markers activated. Time for good old counter. This isn't really gonna do much, but it's something, I guess. What the fuck? Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> say bye to breathing. <laughs> That'll <laughs> relax. Tidings manifest. Ready for another? Naughty child. Nap time. What do you want to know? Uh? Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Yippee. Stand still. Oh. Destiny isn't a uh. commencing support. <gasps> Yippee. Don't look happy to see us. Ah, uh, here we go again. Make a wish. <sighs> Enemy data sick net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. It's good top off, good I guess. To I accidentally. <laughs> what do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Don't you love accidentally hitting buttons? It's my favorite. Time to say bye. Boom. Ill tidings manifest. Attribution will find you. Memories of 
memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Ready for another? Relax. Nap time. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Ill tidings manifest. Say bye to breathe <laughs> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Just a little something. Please let me heal my Pella. Please. Enemy data sick net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. That'll stand still. What do you want to know? And the ads are gonna pop in like a minute ish something probably hmm. commencing support <gasps> may as well kill them all <laughs> memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss <laughs> enemy data sick net markers activated time for a good old counter attack Nap time. Relax. Destiny isn't choked. Ill tidings manifest. Almost. We're almost there. Say bye to breathe. <laughs> Yes, yes, don't forget to get your drops. Um, especially if you've been here the whole time. Uh, if you've, if you've been here the whole time, I think you should. Like, literally in just like a few more minutes, you, you should have all of the drops. Well, there are the ads. I'm going to quickly run to the bathroom as I do every hour, stretch, refill my waters, blah, 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 blah. I'll be right back. Mwah.
come back. I peed. I refilled my water. I made another serving of gamer subs. We are chilling. We are chilling. Transaction. I love a good transaction. Kira, hello, hello. I hope you all are having a good night. And hey, don't don't forget to claim your drops. Analyze the targets before you make a plan of action. Hmm. I I was able to get all of them. Uh if you've been here since the beginning, you should be able to also get I all wish. of them. So, claim, claim your drops. You get you get free things. We love free things. I'm so sorry, but don't worry. Um, I'm, I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a good little minute, so don't don't you don't you worry. Time to say bye. Boom. I hope whatever you gotta do goes well, and it's nothing too crazy. I hope you all are having a good. Day, night, whatever it is for you. Punish evil. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Ready for another? Stand still. Time for a shot. Ill tidings manifest. Relax. Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Out of moves. Commencing support. Not Time for a good old counterattack. Nap time. Oh shit. Ill fate descends. Rip Pella. <laughs> Pella's fucking dead. Time to say bye. Pella.
is fucking dead. Thanks. You're too good to me. Just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're too good to me. Ill tidings manifest. Didn't hurt. I'm just warm enough. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> a rare opponent. Sword, heed me. Uh, May as well kill them all. Memories are beneath. I think I'm fucked here. Punish evil. Find your manners. That's better. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. If I don't get now, oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Fuck. Ill fate descends. Naughty child. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Have at you. Just, just a little something. Think darn, 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 darn. Still, still fucked in the third phase. Time for a shot. Nap time. That's better. Destiny's hand. <laughs> Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Attribution will find you. No, you couldn't just leave her alone. Cut through the rest. Out of moves. Just in just a little something. Think nothing. You couldn't just leave her alone. I'm dead. Oh my god, Nat. Just tank it. Just fucking face tank it, Nat. You got this. You got this, Nat. You're all in on I'm okay. That's better. Just tank through it, Nat. I believe in you. Nap time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm dead. Fuck, Nat. No. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I... Eh, oh. I'll do the rest later. I'll do the rest later. I won't- I won't make you guys suffer through more of that. I won't make you guys suffer through another hour of simulated universe. Especially since I'm not even going to beat it. Um... Fuck. Ah. Uh. 
I'm not farming that fucking beetle. I don't want to farm the beetle. Darn. Okay. I'm not farming that beetle right now. I'm tired of farming. I'm gonna farm the beetle. I'm gonna farm the beetle. Go farm the fucking beetle. Time to go farm the beetle. Hold on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be a smart person right now. Time to go farm the beetle. We're farming the fucking beetle. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, fuck you. Get careless. Stand still. What do you want to know? Uh? Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Bye bye, Gamma. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Relax. Destiny isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Nap time. Stand still. Try harder. Trust me. <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks. You're too good to me. Uh? <laughs> Not bad. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. May as well kill them all. Trust me. Blade of Moonlight. What do you want to know? All will be revealed in Lunar Flame. <laughs> Relax. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> Destiny isn't chosen. Uh? Nap time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Fuck. <laughs> What do you want to know? <laughs> Memories are ever beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Hate this fucking beetle with a passion. Thanks. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Destiny isn't true. Uh. Stand still. Uh. Try harder. Naughty child. That's better. Stand down. Trust. Okay, phase two. Yippee. Fuck. All will be revealed. God damn it. What do you want to know? Well. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> just just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand has truly blessed <laughs> me. Nowhere to run. Awkward. Manifest. 
Good times. Time to say bye. I think my cough is cooked. Oh my god. Uh, we'll make it, but like, fuck me, man. Time for a shot. That's better. Thanks. You're too good to me. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny, uh? Stand still. Oh, ba 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 ba! Come on, just kill the fucking beetle! I hate this fucking boss <laughs> with a passion. Good times, time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Relax. Huh. Late of moonlight. Hate that fucking beetle, man. Hate it. Fuck that beetle. Fuck that beetle. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Fuck that. We're not doing that anymore. We are going to go and do story stuff now because I, that's just what I want to do. Maybe, maybe when I get more energy stuff, whatever it's called, um, I will go do uh more grinding but i'm i'm done grinding i don't want any more beetle bullshit here let me because we're going back to story stuff i'm going to turn that up to four i'm going to turn the music up to four we're fine we're chilling oh friend my expression wasn't much better than yours when i first saw this I forgot this place makes me lag. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection, and owned by the IPC. Guys. I am doing the newest story. Please, if you don't want to be spoiled, I I would suggest muting the stream or going elsewhere. Um, it it's just you know I I don't want to uh, spoil anybody. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. 
The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a Galaxy Ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Ah. Uh. That's just one side of the story. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before. So they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation.
The nameless would never associate with the IPC. Oh, don't worry, you just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and uh -huh. take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? I don't know. Everyone's a villain here. Also, what is going on? <laughs> is, it, is it this? Is it the light quality? Maybe. No. We'll just turn the light quality back up. It's fine. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. Hello, but King. By your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. Playing it safe seems to be the smarter so move. As far as things are presently concerned, yes. But what about the long term? Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... I don't have any other questions. So quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. Update. Update. Apparently, my my issue with uh Dinobot was fixed today. Apparently. But King, I am doing good. Uh, we are going through the 2.1 main story right now. So this this is the newest of new story content. So again, if you don't want to be spoiled on that, I would suggest not actively watching. What was the issue with Dinobot? Hold on. A nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. You're so hot. Okay. Um...
the the issue with Dinobot is it wasn't posting my go live. And so I went into their Discord server and I was like, hey, buddy, why isn't it doing that? And then they were like, oh, we're aware. We sent out a fix. It should be fixed today. Uh, but, you know, yeah. Wait, block. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. A small you didn't give me. Gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my What path. did she put me like what did she put on my Don't ear? Pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Thank you. But then I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Oh, I know Black Swan is an absolute hottie. I'm done. I finished investigating on my side. Where should we meet? Barry! Barry, it's great that you're safe. That lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. Yeah, it's um, I stopped. The, the, the morning was over by the time this came out. The scene has been cord cordoned off by the family we're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates let's meet somewhere near the clocky statue later yippee is himiko okay you know what i haven't done i still haven't gone through panacone and gotten the chests <laughs> I'm gonna have to off stream. I can't do it on stream. Uh, her, she is Black Swan. That is just her name. I do have her as a character. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. But can I talk to the clocky statue while while I wait? I wanted to see if I. Ah. Some time ago, deep in the memory zone. Late now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Days ago, Everflame Mansion. Oh, damn. The cutscene, it was so... They're still alive. As are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born. Until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. 
All things are created for the destruction. Hell yeah. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. I'm so invested. Why? Because on the path they have. Shall indeed remain here, bow to fight a decisive battle. Thank you for the hydrate. For I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called Possible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right, I accept. Let's go. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream do i get a cool a fighting dream yes that's right but you've made one small mistake this blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn it's a personal secret that i don't want to disclose but perhaps out of reciprocity She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. Truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Oh hell yeah. Guiding you back to the waking world. Oh hell yeah. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Their time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? <sighs> Did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. 
There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Whoa. Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. I'm all ears. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. I like how she's the only one that has colored text. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams? About everyone who died because of you. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light. And to burn. To keep burning until I turn to ash oh, that's a bit dark so, I really envy you is that so <laughs> then you're already living in the waking world
We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to... <laughs> no, no, me and my girl. I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. No, it's fine. I just want to move on and forget. On in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. It was a meme. Then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed, we trust that the nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. But here's the thing that I'm confused about, okay? Because Firefly died in the dreamscape. Technically speaking, her body should still be somewhere in the real world. She would be alive. Unless if you die there, you die in real life, which is, you know, whatever. But theoretically, she should still be there in the world. It just kind of did like a little reset, little reset. On the other hand, Robin, Robin actually died in the real world. We saw it happen. She disappeared into bubbles. How or why? No fucking clue. Not, not a single idea. But like... Whatever. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. He really is up to no good. All the while accusing that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? I don't trust anyone anymore. I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. No, I don't trust you either, Himiko. Let's <laughs> try to gather intel you're, first and then you're fake. outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. Also, ads are going to be popping soon, guys. I do have to run to the bathroom. Still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective but before we start what are we going to say to the family and adventuring as i see things the family harbors no ill will towards the astral express if they didn't trust the crew they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Yeah. As for that aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Yes. Still, 
It's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. And there's the ads. He showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. I'll be right back. Mwah.
I'm back. I'm back. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Um, I won't lie. I haven't really eaten much of anything today. I, I've basically been like snacking on some food. Um, I, I, I've just kind of been snacking. I ate like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Um, and it's just kind of like small snacky foods, Pringles and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, don't worry. I'm currently in the process of... <laughs> well, okay, hear me out. It was storming. My power kept going like on and off earlier. I didn't want to like have to like heat up food and then like my power go out in the process. That like that, that was just awkward. So I've kind of just been eating like snack foods that I don't have to like cook <laughs> but I'm heating up my oven now okay it, it's not it's not storming anymore which is also why I'm streaming uh I'm my my oven is is preheating we also need to keep a certain distance from the family never let them get too close well I was getting there PC helps balance that out if either side makes a move we have the option to pull out Yes. So you suggest accepting a Venturine's proposal to team up? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. It's cool. You can bully me whenever. Uh, you... <laughs> no, I can't accept this. No, you have to. Forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay. We'll collaborate. We've decided to accept your request for collaboration. Wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll all be in this together. Here's a small something for our upcoming partnership. You have received 100,000 credits. That's it. <laughs> that doesn't seem like much. Give me another 100k, rich boy. Let me see what you've got. Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra just for good luck with this new gig. Another 100k. Just as I anticipated, the family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug for as long as they can, so her case is only is only a secret between us, but the other case, that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave for now, and I look forward to outstanding performance from you guys. Looks like Venturine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Hold on. Okay, okay. I just I just wanted to check. Here we go. Ow. Venturine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To Hold on. This, He'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. Laura, Laura Fatora, hello, hello. Thank you for the follow. You are not a baby bat. Welcome, welcome. I am doing the 2.1 story, as the title says. So if you don't want to be spoiled on any of that, I do suggest not being in the stream currently. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just want to make sure everyone's having a good time with the game, you know? Uh, but I do have drops on, so if anyone would like to lurk, even though I am doing this story, that is amazing. Get your free stuff. You get jade and XP materials and all kinds of things. In fact, to all the people that have been here, make sure to claim your drops. Uh, I think it only takes about two hours, so I have been streaming for three. I plan to be streaming all night as well, so uh, you'll get them. You'll, you'll get it. I promise. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. 
So how does he plan on taking them down? It's gotta be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. No conclusions can be drawn just I'm yet. Just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, but he's hot. He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Yeah, but he doesn't gamble unless he knows he's gonna win. Because he always wins. Venturine said something that concerns me. Uh-huh, what's that? He accused that galaxy ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever. Acheron? But said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was... Meme. It was a groundless... Accident. It's hot, I don't care. He can stalk me. ...serves to make him seem more suspicious. It is, that's part of the uh, charm. But why though? Maybe Adventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. No. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. Yes. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Adventurine made up out of thin air. No. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? She's hot. She's a very mysterious woman. Weird, I can't seem to remember. Wow. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Yeah, and she's hot. Is that a is that a quali like qualifying trait of galaxy rangers? Cause if so, I'm gonna need a whole party of them ASAP. Hello, March. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin is an actual. Nah, <laughs> she gone gone. She's still alive and well, somewhere, but everything's just some horrible. I watched her dissolve into bubbles. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? Yeah, but that was in the real life How could world. Die in a beautiful dreamscape like this. That that was in our Should hotel room. Things happen here? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, King. <laughs> I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Well, just don't look at it. Do you think the family is behind all this? No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. We kind of are. Aww, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Apparently it's really good here. There, there's a one of a kind. And I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Aww. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himiko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Yes. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? We could test it out on me. Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Apparently, I, I'm some, like, weird danger to, like, society. I literally have a Stellaron as, like, my soul. 
um it's it's living inside of me like i think we could 100 percent test it out on me as like you know science i i would probably live anyway i'm kind of like a weird god i i think i made a pact with like a god too and got fire powers so I think I'm good, you know? I think I'm good, like I'm fit for that science test. How about we split off into two groups? Okay, that, that, fine. Things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Okay. Worth focusing on? Oh, no problem. I'll leave it to you then. She does not sound happy about that. Oh, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. Rip. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Okay. Will do. You're still here. Hmm. hmm. Honored guest, could you come out for a second? Okay, well. I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? It's Acheron. I already do, <laughs> yes, Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Panacone. The Annihilation Gang. What is the Annihilation Gang? Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? <laughs> Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, Brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Okay, well. That shouldn't be necessary. Straight to the point. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Penacony is solely to fulfill an only final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Okay, my oven is done preheating. I, I heard it go beep, 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 beep. So I will be right back just real quick.
Okay, listen here. Nightmare, hi. Thank you for the tier 3 for 15 months. It means a lot to me. It really does. Hello, hello, hello. But I'm not cringe. Also, HD, hi. I'm back. I will have to disappear in like 10 to 11 minutes to get my food. But we continue. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> is she okay? This is a great that game, Nightmare. Didn't do anything, right? She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust. Yeah, get it right, Nightmare. To reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. Oh. In the process, I gradually came to realize. Cavernicho? Cavern... Cavern Echo! Oh, hello! Thank you for the follow! You are not a baby bat! Hello, hello, hello! There are dinosaurs! I'll show you! I'll show you! ...may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet. But I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. <laughs> if you well, is kind of a dinosaur. We could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me. I'm not me. flirting with Well. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm hmm By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. I could use some of that. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. At the same time, hotel in the real world. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Who? Me? I just sat in one corner, keeping silent. Oh. <laughs> chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. Acheron. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage. Not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said... Really? I don't taste any difference at all between them. Nightmare, you don't have to watch. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. Well, I'm the Annihilation Gang that playing a game. <laughs> Nightmare. Disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well. Let me reveal all. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Is this Robin? Real Robin? Who the fuck is Dubra? There it is. 
It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one... I have things called friends, too. And I'm moving. In like a few months. ...was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... I don't, I don't know. Black Swan. Damn, nightmare. Damn. Yeah, Tanuki's a friend of mine, aka Zeno. Those poor people. They have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Let's go all out, Black Swan. Can we go out, Black Swan? <gasps> what happened? I don't know. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Penacony. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... <laughs> blank. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Adventure. Who are you? Who are you? I don't. It's... Who am I? Robin? No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Constance. A to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. You're hot. on the banquet store and I don't need a coming of age ceremony and you I know what you're looking for what what did want her secret her acaron you and then you can enjoy the banquet for me I wish you unforgettable memories Wanna listen in? Bye bye, Nightmare. Thank you for the lurky. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Yes. Okay. With the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter. The independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established. Thank you for the head pads. Take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. Interstellar the Congress. Of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great We love having like politics in space. System. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. Okay, with that, 
my pizza rolls are done i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab them out of the oven and we continue Hello, I'm back. Uh, Cavern, what what are we what are we confused about? What are the the question marks for? Hello, hi, I'm I'm here, I'm back. I I went to go grab my food out of the oven. Hi. Uh, yeah, no, they're, they're gonna sit for a bit. I just wanted to, you know, get them in my room. Um, so they can cool down here. I think the stream broke for me. No! Here, we're gonna, we're gonna turn off the music. We're gonna go back to this. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. Dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. 
Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Yeah, I don't know who Sigonia is. Uh, C Cavern. Um, it, it sounds like internet issues, possibly, maybe. Um, try refreshing Twitch as well. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Avgen yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Yippee, Cavern he took his father. My child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. Uh -huh. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. You're talking very poetically. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? I don't know. I don't know who this child is. Mommy! Mommy, the rain. It's raining. Raining? Mom. Raining. <laughs> it is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Triclops, <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? I'm so. Thank you. Thank I... you. I'm so confused. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. Mm hmm. The day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this. Raindrop. Huh. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avjet. <gasps> My boy. Oh. <laughs> May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Mm -hmm. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Oh's blood. Let your journey be forever peaceful. Uh-huh. And your schemes forever concealed. Okay. Welcome to this sad world. Akavasha. Akavasha. Child blessed by Gyathra. Time 
Aventurine Kakavasha? That's you? I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. Uh huh. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When Something on death? I Dane to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf. They were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible, Gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Find a mute? Robin is what she calls mute. Oh. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. Huh? If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. Wait, Robin a was a mute? And, and a singer? Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... there's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? There's always a chance of a comeback. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. Mm -hmm. That man wants to see you again. Who's that man? Sunday. Oh, that makes sense. The brother. A private trial. 
If it were the form, is that her brother? It would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Yes. Um. But can I? Can I get the little the uh, the little bird um thing behind you real quick? It. I'll forget about it. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Isn't there always? My sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Like Honkai Star Rail, very good game, really good story, but I'm assuming the family, at least in terms of Penacony is almost like political almost like a government they they have control and rules over everything you know and if that's the case there's always something wrong so without any further ado let's set off lead the way the show is about to begin we're here the Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Mm-hmm. Fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very... There's a chest, I want it. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Mm -hmm. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, Sunday. I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me, and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue, and let me deal with the members of the family. Okay. As the story unfolds, you will have the chance to progress the story from other characters' POV. When entering a character's POV for the first time, that character will automatically play be, be placed first in your team. You can check the fates atlas interference interface oh my god i'm i can't speak to see which character's pov an ongoing mission or completed mission is in if you need to change your pov to continue the story you can select here to enter fates ensemble for more details please see tutorials okay well i'm gonna go see tutorials because it gives me a single j thank you thank you I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's go to the store. I do have enough for another pool. Awesome. Awesome. Not that. What are you doing, Barry? I have two pools. I've done ten pools. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Time to just get all of these collectibles, you know? No biggie. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Hendrick, aren't you the little guard for the nightclub thing I tried to get into, buddy? Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. I'm here for business. I was requested by Mr. Sunday. To bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Yeah. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my... Full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Mm hmm. Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours, 
doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. We continue. I was hydrating. Oh, there's another chest. Dead end. Damn. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? The door. For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Mm. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Things, collectibles. I need them. Ah, uh, more wall climbing. Oh, I take it back. Well, I'm going back down. I'll just go up the other way. Oh my god! Oh my god. Joke's on you. Joke's on you. Joke's on you. Joke's on you. Let me up. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck are you? Never seen you before in my life. I don't want to fight you. You scare me. We go this way. Okay. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Um... Oh. I didn't need that picture. Uh. 
Oh. Okay. I I meant to turn it the other way. Oh, that's fine. And then we can, yeah. Woo! Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. A truly Yippee. miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> I don't need to do anything for ads this time, so I'm not going anywhere. I guess I can turn on my mini fan. So much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. I feel like I'm hearing a chest, but I'm not seeing a chest. Damn it. Oh, clocky. Okay, I was doing a hydrate. I see. I'm so smart. Thank you for the 20 jade. Why are you going to cry, secret? I pulled a hundred and ten times and lost my 50-50 for Acheron? Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> what do you want to know? Got Acheron but wanted the card too. And then and then what? Ill tidings manifest. Head your bed. On me. <laughs> <laughs> <Nap time. laughs> I pulled seven more. Got a five star and lost twenty five seventy five. Uh. <gasps> That'll take more than medicine. Okay. 
So what card did you get? If not the, um... Acheron. Damn. Oh no, leave me alone. Just let me get my chest. I will I will leave. Don't worry, I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't want to fight you. I just want to go through with my story. Just want to go through with my story, get my things. Bada bing, bada boom. Yank. You're crazy. Listen, I, I, it's not like I have to worry about getting Acheron. I got her in 20 pulls. So, um, but I ain't got money like that. <laughs> yeah. You want the proof? You want the proof? Fuck. Oh. Oh. It's not updated yet. <laughs> oh, wait. It is. Sorry, let's be let's be more accurate here. Five, ten, eleven. I got her in eleven pulls, actually. <laughs> got Acheron in eleven pulls. It's just it was a ten pull, so. Well, I had a guarantee 50-50 from Sparkle. Because I lost Sparkle to Japard. Um, and then I did 10 pulls here. Um, so yippee. There's that. Um, I'm working on getting the light cone. Or card, or whatever the fuck people want to call it. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so much shit over here. What, what the fuck am I looking at? What the fuck am I looking at? Okay. Okay, now, now I see the picture. Now I see the picture. Please turn. Thank you. Ten to one payout. Music to my ears. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Let me in, 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 let me in. Oh my goodness. I don't want to fight. Uh Take it back. Get me out of here. I don't want to do that right now. Damn, I'm sorry, Secret. I really didn't think I was going to get her so soon. It kind of disappointed me. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was really expecting having to put in, like, a lot of time to get her. Hold on. Huh? What's wrong? 
Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. Oh no. My friend. Oh no, I'm out of pizza Did rolls. Make an appointment with him. It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Aren't you rich, boy? Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. <laughs> Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? God damn it. Found it. This is it. Uh huh. The thing I didn't want to do. Can I yank? Let's go. You bitch. Come back here. Boom. Puzzle piece. Yippee. Awesome. Now, how the fuck? Oh, it's I can go to the fountain. Oh, I'm so smart. So smart. Okay. And then we go over here. Boom. Up we go. up here now i'm here awesome cool i guess okay there's another fountain but there's also this guy little hanu mini game um i quickly am going to brb and get rid of my um plate uh for my pizza rolls and stuff as well as wash my hands, and I will be back to gaming.
we're fighting. I am not the size of a jumbo squishmallow. I'm I might be I don't, I don't know how big a jumbo squishmallow is. I'll be I'll be honest here. I don't I don't actually know. Also, I'm repinking my server because it has been uh over 4 hours. But I I'm, I'm back. I'm locked in for good now. I had my snack, my little foods. Hello, Jesus. Hello, yes, hi. I understand it's 1230. I'm sorry. My sleeping schedule, I will admit, is messed up. What the fuck? Yo! Boss Stone's minions will experience true calamity when Hanu gets his Hanu launcher. After taking aim at an enemy, hitting the fire button will unleash the Hanu rocket and consume ammunition. Okay, I'll hydrate. Thank you, thank you. Enemies will drop ammo after being defeated. If one round of ammo hits multiple enemies, more ammo is dropped at once. If Brother Hanu has no more ammo left, you can return to Hanu's launchers, Hanu launchers position to unlock the Hanu rocket again and replenish one ammo. Heard and understood. Hell yeah. We're gaming now. Why, why can't... Oh, I pressed the wrong... Button. What the fuck? If you use the Hanu rockets to ignite the fireworks, it will trigger an explosion that defeats enemies and is even capable of destroying walls. What do you mean it didn't? <sighs> what, what, what do you fucking mean? I... That's where it is! I'm so confused. You opened up the wall? I, yeah, but it wasn't like it. It told me to go back here for more ammo and it wasn't giving me more ammo. I wanted more ammo. Boom. Murder. Am I, am I done?
Let me down! Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. My bad. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Also, Bok Joy, uh, when it when it comes to the announcer voice, just you guys wait till I, I get my XLR microphone with the uh, the Go XLR. It, it's going to be fucking funny. I I can turn on like a like megaphone type of thing. It's going to be perfect. The two return to the lobby. Insert Gulliver's arch into the slot. This reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Gambling is literally your whole personality. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so. I don't know. Enter. Uh, oh, good heavens. D did I drink? Am I still in a dream? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, doctor, you're huge. Whoa. It's me down here. In the, the sand pit. Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. Oh my God! More collectibles. Let's find Mini chests. Oh yeah. Mini chests. Same, honestly. Oh, duh. I'm stupid. I was like, it doesn't move that way. What do you mean? The red one. Yeah, there with the, I had to click the red one. Thank you for the jade. Uh, let me get this achievement. So. Let me buy more pulls. Run past all of the enemy. All of them. I'm scared. Ah. Ah. I just want my chests. We do be on that grind. 
Aha. Oh, there's still more. There's still more. This is more important. What the fuck am I doing? Aha! Boom! Oh yeah! Did I get them all? I don't know. But I don't see any more. So we're just gonna continue. I realized I could have done that just by going along with the mission. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Yes. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. I don't think you can move. Be of service. Tell me about the guided tour. Huh. And tell me about the tour. I'll never Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. Give it a kick. Model. Happy to be of service. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> Kick it again. Uh, the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule ma a sheen model. Model. After screaming, the soldier collapses. He didn't even have. He didn't even have time. Turn a five star rating from you. What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. You've got to be my witness. Saw nothing. Ugh. You guys, you guys, and sending me things. machine oh, there's no mechanism on the floor could there be one at the top doctor do me a favor any favor for you whoa that's cool so i was right these models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. Insecure much? <laughs> One of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use ah! the machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Wah. Honestly, same. Hello, I'm industrial scum. <gasps> oh, yes, support. Get good EP sleepies and hey. 
Hey. And it's empty too. To anyone who has been here, can you please go claim your Honkai Star Rail drops? It's free. I think you get like 30 something jade. You get XP stuffs and, and all kinds of things. Go go claim your drops before you go. Don't forget to claim your drops. Doc, I'll need your brain power again. Oh, and of course, if anyone is new here and you haven't followed me yet, now is a great time to do that. I stream Honkai a lot. I do other games. I stream every day. It would mean a lot to me. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> Finally. A moment of peace. Barry loves losing power. What do you mean? It. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. You mean like with my electricity earlier, like with the storm? That kind of losing power. Oh, you're back. I just place it here. Thank you. This is so cool. I hate losing power. Today was supposed to be an eight hour long stream. Huh? But it, it, what, huh? That's all the ones I have. Oh, I didn't even see that one. It fucking blended in. Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. You here is breathtaking. <laughs> Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. <sighs> All done. So ow, ow, ow. Thank you for the head pads and the hydrate. I am still streaming. We're almost up to five hours now. Barry is a streamer who streams. That is, that is factual. Where am I going? I guess there? Oh! Lovely. Well, fuck. Make a wish. Feeling lucky. Ah, I wasn't. I wasn't ready. I'm not a top 500 tracer, me. Watch your head. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Do we still have the upper hand? 
Nice. <gasps> Enemy data secure net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Time for a yeah, no, not a Drix, please. If, if anyone here needs to <laughs> go get some EB sleepies, go ahead and do so. Sure, I'll play along. It's on me. <clears throat> <All in. laughs> Naughty child, nap time. Ill tidings manifest. Hedge your bets. Uh huh? Watch your head. The dice have bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Commencing support. <gasps> Enemy data secure net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> what this is gonna go fucking oh, nowhere. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Spend freely. Yes, have a good night, Nautadrix. Please, uh, if, if you do want to see the rest, I'll be uploading the VOD, don't worry. But, rest. Feel free to lurk and use me as background noise, or not. Just... Get good rest. That's all I care about. Sure, I'll play- Ah. Commencing support. Ready for another? Time for a shot. Nap time. Uh? Hedge your bets. Huh? <sighs> the dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take I love all of my baby bats. Also, guys, guys, oh my god, don't forget to, to use the codes. The the codes I have pinned in the chat are are brand new uh codes. They just came out, they're all active. Get free things. We love free things. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Trust me, this is a guaranteed win. This is gonna take forever. It's on me. Commencing support. Nap time. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Starry night. Hello. No dirty trick. Okay. Sure, good night, well. Jesus. Uh -huh. Enemy targets detected. I miss my baby bats. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, though, everyone will be asleep by the time I finish this fight. I wasn't like I didn't have the team for this. You don't understand. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Huh? We have the upper hand. <gasps> Naughty child. Nap time. Destiny isn't chosen. Uh? <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Think Sounds like a you problem. Damn. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Spend freely. Enemy data signet markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> Ill fate descends. Uh -huh. Commencing support. <gasps> no dirty tricks, all right. <laughs> all in. Time for a shot. Nap time. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Hedge your bets. It's on me. The dice have bust. God, I want adventuring so bad. I don't even. I wouldn't even put him in my team. Enemy targets detected. I don't know how I would put him. Ow! I just need my desk. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Data secure net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I'm okay. All in. <laughs> Destiny is an ill fate to send. Beneath the waters lies an endless. Abyss. Time for us to go to sleep. No, Bok Troy. I don't want to lose my baby bats. 
I'm streaming for you guys. But like, please, if you do need to rest, please take care of yourself. But you know. But Starry Night, I'm doing good. Um, sleeping schedule's pretty fucking busted. I have a subathon literally next week. I need to fix my sleep schedule. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it was 4 p.m. for me. No, it's 12.53 a.m. How do I get to the other one? I'm so confused. I'm so confused! Oh! There we go. Yeah, my- my Kafka's pretty much... good, <laughs> except for her weapon, whatever that's called, you know? The stuff that you get from the simulated universe. Um... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You don't see me. <laughs> no, no, no. Not not her light cone. The uh the ball and string thing. Yeah. The ball and string. Oh my god, it's a big yank. Nothing else matters. Damn. I know, but like, I don't know what else you call it. The- the rope and chain, the- the orb. The orb. How many pulls do you have? What do you mean? I- I have Acheron. Unless you mean current pulls saved up? Here, let me get you the most accurate number. Oh, well, that's going to be my most accurate number. I have four pulls saved up currently. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be pulling on the light cone some more. Uh, when I get to ten. I don't really care for Boothill. Um, as for Robin, we'll... We'll get there when we get there. Um, joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. I'm pretty much gonna be pulling for everyone. I know that. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Um, 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I plan to just kind of pull for everyone all the time. Okay. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Uh, but yeah, uh, in, in terms of an overall character based off of just aesthetics and what I, you know, think, I don't really care for Boothill. Uh, I will be pulling for Boothill. Uh, I'll be pulling for Robin. I'll be pulling for Adventuring. I'll be I'll be pulling for everyone. Um, I I do have it in my wants to get Ron May and Wowo as well. So as soon as I fucking hear news about one of them coming back, especially Wowo, I I will kind of be focusing on them a bit more. But I do feel like it is in my best interest, especially on stream. You you guys love to see the Gamba. Uh, to just pull for everyone, even if I fail. Yeah. If only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. Damn. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Why is every character in this game so hot? He's incapable, necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor. Traitor. <laughs> I'm relaxed. Do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accuse? Galaxy of Ranger Acheron, also a hot mommy. That's an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. Damn. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> She could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the power. End, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Okay. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing.
Okay. We continue. Oh, but ads should be starting up soon, probably. Yeah, here in about a minute. Uh, I will be running to the bathroom. Just cause. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. A guest? Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be, witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know... You hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle. Preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Would you? I'm so invested, I'm so sorry. Actually, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the... Oh shit, the ads popped! I was so invested! I'm running to the bathroom! Ah!
I'm back. Hello. Sorry. Uh, bathroom has been used. Uh, water has been refilled. Oh, my gamer subs cup is almost empty. That's going to be my last cup for today. Um, and Looney has been cuddled and loved and kissed. We continue. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you're out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. Uh, uh. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? I don't know. Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Whoa! <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. Whoa. them to shed their light and I'll ask you questions on their behalf next you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust whoa and if I refuse to answer oh my god goodbye. and we'll see if the harmony rejects you <laughs> question do you own a cornerstone? What's a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? No. Yes. Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? No. Yes. Is your oh my God. stone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? How would he know? Yes. <laughs> Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have Wait, he sounds so hot right now. <laughs> or manipulate one's own or Wait. No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Shut up. Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? 
No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <laughs> don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, I'm really invested, but hello. Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Oh my god, I don't want to stand up right now. <sighs> Stream isn't paused. <laughs> Crunchy. Please. It's not. <laughs> Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> System hours ago, do light pavilion. Oh my god, it doesn't stop. Hold on, I'll stretch. You promised, learned doctor. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to Hi, the Crunchy! What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Nah, I've been here for Haven't a you good minute. Confiscated his cornerstone. You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. Uh, go. Uh, fun fact. I I might have gamer subs on the side, but when you guys hydrate me, I do drink water. Not the subs. But yeah, sorry, Crunchy. Uh, I know sometimes Twitch likes to bug out and freeze up the stream for some people. Um, but yeah, hi. <laughs> but I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. The cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. 
But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stonehearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Whoa! So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been <laughs> from the very beginning. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone more precious than life itself with a bunch of worthless jewels disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse. Oh, this is funny. Matter ...and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep leading to a total loss. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. Damn! <sighs> I see you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time, and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> Is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? Oh my god, I'm I'm too invested in this. You misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. <gasps> Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape. Or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you. And it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Whoa! Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. 
Okay, that's a lot to ask. Compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? Damn. <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. He's pissed. Bird. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is it now? You... You? Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kakabasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. Whoa. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened? Gambler, even as a child. Wow. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <sighs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayaka Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha... You are my only family. I'm never calling Kakabasha. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. There'll be no next time. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain My heart. The of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Mm -hmm. Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. 
sister. Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. Till the moment she oh my god. This is fucking crazy. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? I'm back to me. Um, excuse me. Hello. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Oh, uh, Looney. You gonna come up? Hey, ma'am, what are you doing? Ma'am. We'll get up here. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lily. Oh, my baby. Lay down. Lay down. Mooney, we gotta sit up. Is it possible to access these records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. Oof. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. It'll be Sparkle, don't worry. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Uh... Stellar Recollections? The Garden of Recollection. The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Garden of Recollection, and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Yeah. Uh, who are you guys? What? Who are you? Bravo what? Team has arrived at their designated oh. Position. 
Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Boss, get moving. Armed, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major- On the snowball? Areas. Hey, check it out! That place! Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? To all guests! The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Uh -huh. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Uh -huh. Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Panacone. Ah! Uh, hi, Paz. <laughs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Venturine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? Fine. Do as I ask, and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Mm. Yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacone. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Yippee! I wonder a Venturine scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some... Dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? It'll take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable okay time to get another pull yippee yippee now we have five We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. We meet again. Uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. I could kick your ass here again. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? It. I'm the galactic baseballer. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh, uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What, what murder? 
You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, uh, uh, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Oh, why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. The one she mentioned, right? Yeah. Let's talk to Thypez. Business with Aventurine. Awful. I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Penacony, I'm watching with keen interest. He's that good, huh? As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Isn't Adventurine higher than Topaz in like their work system? I'm not like a professional. Yo, level rewards? Say less. Say less. I am on the way. Do. How is everything? Do 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 do. Yippee. And then we're gonna go to Clocky. Because free things, obviously, duh. Hell yeah. And then we're gonna go to the shop. Boom, boom, boom. That's number six. We got six pulls. Oh my gosh. We might get another ten pull tonight. Maybe, it just maybe. Can I can I do this thing yet? No. That's fine. That's fine. I get it. Do we know how much has has someone already like finished this? Tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? That's right. It's a me, Clocky. I think you look alike. How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Mooney, can you stop? It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Listen, it. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? It, I'm sorry. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking Gallagher. about? Gallagher. There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? 
It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Okay. Everyone, please leave. No. I'll... There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? I'll do the brainwashy clocky oh, thingy Sorry again. Troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another way? Oh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that... Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. Can you perform it again? That... Uh, clocky magic! That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, okay. Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? on doing this sorry but human lives and the family's reputation are at stake it is yeah we know everything about the case no i meant to say do i really have to get down on my knees and grovel if you don't mind i, I didn't think you were the type who would kick someone <laughs> if that's the case I'll just have to acquiesce to everyone's wishes. <laughs> Lower my esteemed head and plead with everyone. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no need. Uh, standing is just fine. You don't Damn. need to do that. <sighs> Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. I'll make you happy. Let me see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. What? Time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. Yeah. The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Right. Let's go right. find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. <coughs> Welcome. <coughs> well, since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this thank lady. Thank you, thank you, Kiros. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. It's okay. 
That's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of getting justice for her. Mooney, what are the you doing? Involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? Good stretch. What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Oh, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. What you doing, Looney? Other than the family... Good morning! It's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. An interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Yeah. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread, one piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. Damn. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. Uh-huh, uh -huh. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. Hmm. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. That's everything. <laughs> Someone once said to me, Penacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. 
This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. Uh -huh. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Aha. Uh -huh. I feel like things are starting to get really, like, you know, uh, intense, I guess is a, is a word to use. And I know ads are going to be popping soon, so I don't want anyone to miss anything that like i i'm really invested i i think you guys might also be especially since you're still here so I, I'm going to let the, those ads pop and run to the bathroom real quick before continuing on with the story so you guys don't miss anything. But I hope you all are having a good night. Please don't forget to claim your drops, especially while I'm gone. And there they go. All, all of the subs, please enjoy some music.
I'm back. Hello, hello. I just realized how many things I have to do after stream. Oh my god. Huh. But I hope you all are having a good night. There we go. Okay, we go back to the game. Yes. And yet, you stand here right now. Which also means... That man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Mm -hmm. Everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall he ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun a place not visited by anyone before his wings would melt because of it only for him to fall into the sea and after that icarus <laughs> hold on when, when did icarus become a part of honkai Lore? Wait, what's happening? Fortnite? <laughs> uh. Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. <laughs> A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told. It overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life. Alone. Alone. I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicion. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, generation after generation, their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch the ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Then why, 
exactly. Do we even walk towards the light? Ah. Uh. Whoa, we're back at the beginning. Whoa, it was all a memory. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Long time no see. Having fun on Penacony? Acheron. This voice, it's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Uh. Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to. Oh my god, is this the cowboy? My bullets will find you. Oh my god, it's the cowboy. I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron, too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You got imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's the cowboy. It's Boothill. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? I don't know. Cross an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Penacony soon. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is a killer. Oh, uh, same difference. Now we're going back to adventure. We're kind of going everywhere. Okay, now now we're back here. Or is that also part of your act? Huh. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So... The genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my. What. An. Honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the Harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penacony. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. 
I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Penicomi. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Yes. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? I didn't think it was going to be this long. I'm serious. Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical, Medical advice? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Asking me to solve the case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway... <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now... Let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Hell yeah! Okay, where to now? Would you be willing to support my performance and keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Here, I got these gems for you. Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Cryo! Hello, hello. You're not late. I mean, you're technically six hours and 20 minutes late, but you're not late. <laughs> I'm still going to be here for a while. Don't you worry. Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, Cryo, I do have drops. You were not first, Kiros. <laughs> I do have drops on for Honkai Star Rail. We have brand new codes pinned in the chat as well. Be sure to use them. Uh, I believe the drops only take about two hours to get, so you should be able to get them from me tonight. But if not, I I am hoping to raid into some more Honkai whenever we do end. So, if you don't get your drops from me, you should be able to get your drops from another person. Uh, but I, I'm still going to be here for quite some time, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm currently doing the new story, uh, the 2.1 uh, story mission. So if you don't want to get spoiled on any of that, I would suggest lurking. 
um or going elsewhere um i i i love to have you guys here but i know a lot of you like to enjoy the story and not have any spoilers and i'm actively going through it so yeah <laughs> well if you're up for some gossip it's not about death but there have been some rumors about a guest at the reality hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up it was like they were in some sort of coma nobody knows what caused it but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness well all customers are under the protection of the family after all <laughs> thank you this will make for a very juicy headline may she they protect us unexplained cryo i swear you played this game more than me how brain dies in a dream but unfortunately the customer ended up waking up in the end <sighs> Feel something inside my head. Uh, is the harmony starting to kick in? Hmm. Yeah, don't forget the codes. At least log in and get the codes. Uh, well, to keep you updated, Cryo, because I know you are a gamer. I got Acheron. Uh, talked about this in my Discord server, but I pulled Acheron live on stream when we when we started up stream. It might be clipped. I don't know. Um, pulled Acheron on technically my 11th pull, but I did a 20 pull. Uh, awesome. Cool. You know. Uh, and I've currently done 10 pulls on her light cone. Uh, the world has truly lost its way. Here, I got these gems for you. You wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes. Also, we are officially out of the subs well, for sorry, tonight. Soon. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one... You got this daybreak. ...of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive... Cryo, I did it. Stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? I'll, I'll probably make a Twitter post about it, but I hope all Acheron wanters are Acheron havers. <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. <laughs> Ah, that is 
disturbing voice in my head. It's getting closer. A sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. I don't really care about Booth Hill. I'm gonna pull for everyone, but like... <laughs> you... You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> You really shouldn't drink so much soul glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. <laughs> <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. It's a seahorse with a long <laughs> neck. <laughs> okay. They say it loves to appear to drunk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Ugh, darn it! <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Um, I, I honestly don't know where to redeem the codes for Honkai Star Rail on mobile, but I'll show you in a second. I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to, but thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work, then. What was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. <sighs> okay, Venturine, shut. So you, you, you open up your little phone and then you go here and redemption code and then you put the codes in here. There you go. Here, I got these gems for you. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, 
Maybe you've heard something about death. <sighs> Another curious soul. I love Acheron. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, I'm already past that part, Miyuki. Ooh, actually right now I can I can I can look, right? No, I cannot. talk to me sorry i thought you were checking out something behind me a few more days daybreak it's 20 days it's a 20 day banner is this a gift for me are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake yes it's for you just take it is this for real someone is actually giving me a gift not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? That's so true, Daybreak. Mm, the devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The gems in my bag are running low. Well, let's see if my... Oh, well... He does not look good. Oh, yeah. Remember what I said. You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Oh my god, Sparkle! Look at you. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, I wish you would have come home. I'm gonna cry. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? 
Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> oh. Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh. Damn, I want Baylu. I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool. All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? Chicken wing boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> Every time I hear... I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? Every single time her voice goes into that, like, auto tuny like, robotic... TV type of thing. It just makes me think of when she said chicken wing boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now. And the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Damn. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17... No. 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacone will go up in smoke. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Damn. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penacony. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. Who's the other <laughs> mute friend? Sambo crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, 
Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? So, number 35, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. Is this when he got, like, branded? Quantity code really be considered a lucky charm? Yeah. Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Damn. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much. So I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck. So I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. I don't know what it is with people in Pentaconi. I believe they're racist. Now, I could be wrong, okay? I'm not a genius. I... I don't even know what Sigonian refers to. All I know is there's a few people that have been called that with some type of negativity afterwards, and it sounds racist. <laughs> Now, if I am correct, I think maybe possibly a lot of these characters, uh, at least Adventuring, maybe Dr. Ratio, uh, are from like... Because all, all of these places have like their themes to like real world, I guess to say. So I, I think whatever planet they come from would be like Romania. That's how you say it, right? I was I was never good with the map. Romani. But I, I think that's like what their area is based off of. Okay. Hey, I, I just... I, I, I want to make sure I'm right. I think that's where, like, like, what their planet's based off of, even though we haven't seen it yet. How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay? Slavery! For me. Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tonba. I don't know what a tonba is. I'll take my chances. 30 tonba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tonba. 
deal. <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got some guts. I don't know what red copper coins is yeah, in a sorry, currency. Man. That won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. Oh my god, it actually is slavery. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's Ow. hands. Either you come back with more The Night Panther, you thank you for the follow. You never come back. You are not a baby bat. Hello, hello, hello. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Indifferent male. What a great name. What brings you here, Gallagher? <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostel. You're pretty. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Skullglad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Uh, that, that. Oh, look. A lady as cool as Sir Val. Yeah! I think she is Sir Val. She's cool indeed. Who's Sir Val? Will you, uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. But damn, you caked hey, up! Friends, do me a favor. Go <laughs> to the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized, non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Yeah, I don't know about that. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. But I, I like I like your words, thing. You, you kind of just crack open a cold one, one and heal yourself. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Um, awesome. You can do that. I'm busy. I have things to collect. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. So you're a vampire? Yes, I am. Hello. A bar in this place filled with monsters is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. It's Soul Glad, but I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. Now let's give it a shake. Nice, it's still fizzy and has a long shelf life. Maybe it's placed here for decoration. Yeah, perhaps. Soul Glad is a classic in Penicone, and it'd be strange for a bar not to have it. 
Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Yeah! <laughs> You're right, Himeko. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Bitch, who is talking to me? Oh. Oh. What? But it, it don't... What? I figured it out. I'm so fucking smart. It's not real, it's in a dream. But I thought we could drink anything in dreams. It's perfect. It's it's aged. See? It's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. Perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. Oh my god, it's a yank. I have important things to do. And by that I mean get chests. All of them. Every single chest. Bitch. Ah! Wait, I know where that goes. Whoa, where am I? Where does this go? Why are you flicking me? Whoa! 
Oh my god, I know where I am. Oh my god. Okay, I won't help you. Uh, I'm just gonna go back down because, uh, Yeah. What's this way? What the... Not the trash. I'm gonna get my ass beat. I knew it. Gotta get my ass beat by a fucking trash can again. Naughty child. Nap time. Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. Say bye to breathing. Oh my god. I'll never talk to a trash can again. Bye, Kafka. Oh, fuck. I'm actually fucked. I'm actually fucked. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Rapella. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Stay out of my way. I'm looking Oh well, the mighty have fallen. Uh huh? What's all the commotion? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's a yank. Hello. I think I'm gonna try to fight. I think I'm gonna try to ooh, achievements and friends. If anyone is new here and or you just haven't added me on Honkai Star Rail yet, there is my UID so you can copy and paste it for you in chat right there. Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, I do have Acheron as a support character I'm working on building her for you guys. Oh, I'm back here again. Put me back. I don't, I don't want that. I want, I want to go back here. I want to, I want to fight those guys. Make a wish. Does that hurt? <gasps> Naughty child. <laughs> Stand still. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate descends. <clears throat> Not bad. Ah. Mind your manners. Say bye to breathing. We have the upper hand. Uh. Time for a shot. Nap time. Relax. Fuck. Ill tidings manifest. Oh, 
retribution will find you. Damn it! You're all pissed. God damn it! Calm down. Commencing support. That'll take more. Stand still. <laughs> There goes Bella. Nap time. Relax. Ah. Ill fate descends. Cut in the net. Memories are beneath the waters. Lies in the endless <sighs> abyss. I have to pee. <laughs> Stand still. Destiny is apparent. Uh? Naughty child. There's a Good fucking time. time to say ha boom. That's better. Destiny's hand has truly ill tidings manifest. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. I get it, you're all mad. I'll never use my ult. Never ever. Nap time. Stand still. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Destiny's hand May as well has truly all. blessed me. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Destiny is an ill tidings manifest. Say bye to breathing. Please give me out. Give me out. Give me my chest. I. That's all I wanted. Shut up! I'm literally downstairs. <laughs> Thank you, Asarlai. It's only been seven hours, guys. You're acting like that's a long time. <laughs> oh my god, it reset! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What? It didn't? Oh, it didn't. I'm crying. Anyway, uh, false advertisement. I'm a liar. But how many? Ooh! Eight? Eight. We might be able to get two more pulls? Who knows? Very a part-time streamer. What the fuck do you mean part-time? I'm a full-time streamer. I stream six to eight hours every day. I take one day off. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown. What do you mean? Come with me. We'll become the talk. Of Penicone is shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> okay, okay. 
I I took off Monday. We're, we're, we're pulling out a time calculator right now. Okay. So currently in two days and I'm not even done with stream yet. I'm not, I'm not even done with stream for today, let alone the rest of the week. I have streamed 11 hours and 36 minutes. Okay. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just... One moment. What's her deal? You can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? And... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Last week, I won't lie, I took off an extra day last week. I only streamed 28 hours last week. I know, I've been slacking. I've been slacking. But so far, this week, I've already streamed over 10 hours. And I'm not even done with this week. Bruh. If you're here to convince me to leave, please... Stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. And, and to top it all off, to top it all off, guys, listen here. This whole month, this whole 30 day period, I've streamed 113 hours. Okay. It's a long time on a video game. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 don't skip it. I don't know how to say your name. Sialpan. Just said anything can be invited. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Awesome. Goat. Goat. I have 8,784.5 hours on Black Desert. Ow. 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 Switchblade! Holy smokes, it's Beard Lishy. That's crazy. Come here often. Switchblade, I'm here every day. But hello, thank you for the tier one for nine months. Hello. What the fuck did I want to do to her? Who the fuck are you? What was I what what what's the point?
Apa 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 apa. I don't I don't know. Um I just don't I guess I'm gonna make you happy since you're calm. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage. Yo, I love picking grass at bear. The crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the I also live in Grana. Is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams. And every time it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world no matter what it takes <sighs> want to raise a glass my attentive listener let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream she's still not leaving um, have to try again. Hold on, I have things in my pass. I got stickers. Oh yeah. Give me those free things. You know I like them. You know I like free things. There's oh. I streamed BDO once or twice. Um, I just don't get. I I kind of stopped playing it again. I go through phases of BDO. I'm gonna make you sad then. I don't know. Feel emotions. Do things. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross. Yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too Hi, Looney. Oh, baby. <laughs> longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance. Because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past. Siobhan, and you sorry. Have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. Looney, what are you doing? She probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. You feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that for me permeates the air the next morning that emotion turns to liquid something 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 it's too fast for me i, I try to read it all like good like i don't <laughs> loony quit clawing on the chair that's a 600 hundred dollar chair baby what do you think you're doing oh my goodness what are you doing what are you doing? Okay, have, have fun doing your cat things. What? I just don't get why she... I, I don't know what else to do to you. I'm angry? Should I make you angry? 
You were calm, you were happy, you were sad. Whoa. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed. Yes, ma'am. Can I help you? Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. I down? You are just pissed. Making my mind clear and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Amaki has left? <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. The tricky thing is, that, like, I, I technically can't have any uh, spicy uh, art done of this model. Than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So, go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. All of it. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. I don't fucking know. Each drink has its own unique flavor. Am I actually... This ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Uh... So glad... Sweeter than Susa juice and more bitter than dream syrup. Dream in a bottle. That's a metaphor for Penacone itself. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? I don't know. <gasps> I want a bright future. High stakes. This is the most pungent adjunct we have, and my personal favorite. Uh -huh. Before Mikhail left, the wrinkles at the corners of his eyes had deepened like knife cuts. He mumbled. His ow! Ow, Looney! His throat caught up in his chest. But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penacone itself on that night. Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Coin shaped lemon slices. The IPC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Well. It's done. Here's to you, seeker of truth, with this glass of farewell, my lovely. To unfinished business. To unfinished business. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? No. <laughs> Than soul glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. 
I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. Uh, but yeah, so I... I can't have any spicy artwork done of the model I currently use now because it is a pay to use model and I'm simply following their rules as well as I don't really have any commercial rights to it either. So it's it's a bit of a tricky one. Um, on the other hand, uh, my new model that I'm I am getting made that I'm trying to pay off. Um, I can't, because I'll, I'll own it. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Mikhail. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? Yeah, no, it's a ton of, it's a ton of work. Um, <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason. And I'm content with it. Anymore. I just want to let's dig deeper. Get it paid off, you know? And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. Yeah. Think we only received bad news, and the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Does that mean Death eradicated her? That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Obviously. Before. So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Hey, ma'am. Why are you breaking my shit? Also, uh, to anyone who would like to help me get this new model, um, if you donate to me through this link there, um, the money will go towards the model if you, you know, let me know. Um, or you could check out my wish list and choose where the money goes. But you, you can pick the model. It's also on the wish list and contribute toward towards it over there as well. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. It is never required, but it does help me out a ton. Cinder sucks TTV. Hello. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. Guys, I have to pee. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. 
find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case, so how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Super duper sorry. I, I can't wait. <laughs> I have to pee. I'll be right back. Um, everyone, enjoy some amazing lo-fi. I will see you all in a few minutes.
I swear this cat hates me. I go to the bathroom. I wash my hands. I come back to my room. Everything on my desk is off of my desk. Ugh. <laughs> Cats, man. Cats. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Uh, so you want to seize this opportunity I don't know. to expose the watchmaker. Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacony. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. I... Am I almost done with the story? Well, like 2.1 story? Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Oh! Sometime later. Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park. The most popular entertainment center in Pentacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts. But an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Uh -huh. You know that Penacony used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. So the character Hanu is based on a real life person? History is always written by Whoa! Players. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacony's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Okay. But, like, ha ha have any of you completed this story yet? My friends, have we met before? I, I have no idea how... Like... Far? What? <gasps> oh! I 
did I don't know why I didn't even see the blue one. What? What? Huh? <laughs> uh, I know how to do this. Promise. Eh? I mean, that's... Oh. Yeah, still not a clue. Still not a single clue. Oh. Um. Ah. I'm so smart. Sonic! Hello. Oh. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. We'll okay. Find a spot and continue our conversation. View here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war? and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. If you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. What? <laughs> uh, no way. Not even close. Hanunu freed the Frontier Prison. But peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world... Anime is getting crazy nowadays. <laughs> districts, ...the future of Osdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Panacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Panacone. Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. Sonic, have you completed the 2.1? traitor. Not to the family. But to... Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We 
were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else. Well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacony. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Woof, woof. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Uh -huh. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Who could that person be? Fortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. Oh my god, is it me? Do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. Oh, you're so I told you all I edgy. Know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Woof, woof. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. That pretty much sums it up. Now we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions. Let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. <laughs> Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Ask about Welt's situation. Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How's progress going on your end? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Dewlight Pavilion. Akron, huh? Didn't Adventuring say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Lit? Okay, cool. Back over to Acheron. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Something feels off. 
A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. White. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. During exploration, using Akron's technique to attack normal enemies will instantly defeat them without entering combat. When not hitting enemies, no technique points are consumed. I already know that. I have her. Stream four. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour. Maybe the heads of the family used that model for discussing important the footprints here are different from the rest. Two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Stream four. The gleam of old plates. There aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Okay. Guess I can't use my fancy skills on that. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Nap time. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Commencing support. Ready for another? <laughs> uh? <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Don't worry. It's just a scrape. Destined for oblivion. We have the upper hand. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Enemy data secure. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counterattack. I love Acheron. Nap time. Ill fate descends. Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Enemy targets to. <laughs> Yippee. Something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. Yeah. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. I like how in the like 2.0 Penicone story, I was able to like super duper theorize about everything going on and like Sparkle and Robin and Sampo and no one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too.
Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. The information uh, oh. about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Aha. Uh -huh. This light cone. Yeah. Is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. Do, do I get it now? According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Well, she's fucking dead. It brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. So I I, I can't say their relationship is a uh, super good. She she's kind of dead. Um. <laughs> As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning... If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Ba, 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 ba. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. Oh? They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Well, that's... Maybe the other family heads don't think death that's business. is a deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Listen, it's just business. They probably do care somehow, some way. But like, as long as the show continues... Oh, oops. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his sus. I don't really think they care. Money's money. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? I don't know. No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists. Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Possibly. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Midnight. Yeah. Hello. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger... 
Thank you for the head pads. Who has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Oh, uh, just... The truth just yell it, history, you know? I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. Oh my god, Sunday, it's you. You While killed your sister. Dedicated to keeping our guests safe. It might be wise for you to stay alert. It's you. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. It's literally you. Oh my god. You're you're a fool. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and Wait, what? the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter. Huh? And will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Oh, okay, I hydrate, I hydrate. Oh my god, who are you? Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity. Barely alive NPC. Hello. You ought to represent yourself. Not difficult. But definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. Benny, hi. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, an IPC oh, fuck. There's ads. Sains, thank you for the lurky. And barely alive NPC, thank you for the follow. You are not a baby bat. I'm sorry, the ads. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Madam, I already have what I want. 
to be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. Money. It can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. For Tonbus, he'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Oh my goodness. Katavisha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. Mm -hmm. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. You and that's how we became eventually? Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? Uh, I'm a shy main daybreak. <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? I don't know. Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some idea. I I would just like to take the time to say I love that they actually put the like what well, i don't know what you would call it like spiritual meaning of adventuring to the whole thing like the the whole meaning of like adventuring is like abundance like wealth like a lot of stuff and like renewal the growth as a person uh good luck prosperity you know stuff like that like that is adventuring and i think that's really fucking i i, I think that's really cool because that's literally him as a character. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just just a little nerd moment. What? 
man's tripping. Am I dreaming? Have I gone completely insane? Uh, I think you're tripping. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. Also, sayings. Yeah, the eight-hour stream. Uh, so far, so good. Though, um, I do have some video editing I need to do for um, our ASMR Saturdays after Discord Anime Night. Um, because I'm trying to uh, turn that into something better. But yeah. Um, I'm here. I'm chilling. You really think you could pull it off? <laughs> Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you. Exactly, are you? I am you. Most people in this world spend their entire life Hello, Nate. One outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First, I'm here. Where you go, I guess. <laughs> King got it. Am I going to be elevated into the harmony's emanator now? King understood. Why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? Fuck. Just a Bepeshi? No. A child. It's you! Kakava Shaw, whatever the fuck you're. Hold on, I have, I have to get. There's treasure! Miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. It's you! <laughs> You're... Impossible. Who are you? I am you. <laughs> they're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, be 
You have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. King. I have my anime. I I've, I've talked about watching JJK on stream before. I have my anime list in my Discord. I don't, I don't know. I, I watch a lot of anime. Where are your parents? They're dead. They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. Mama, no, no, it, it can't. It's you. It's okay, King. Also, Matt, hello. <sighs> Casually running away. Casually running away. I don't exist. I'm gone. I was a figment of your imagination. for scraps in the desert <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting well, when you put it like that even ratios a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant well you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope so listen while you can it's good timing that you mentioned the doctor I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. A conspiracy. Calculation. <laughs> Especially the part about the finale. A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> He's going crazy. Damn. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? 
You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? Excuse me, adventure. We're done. Either we're done. Talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Can I stop here? And is it is it gonna fuck anything up? <laughs> Wait, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I have 10 pulls, guys. Guys, get together. Get together. We're doing another 10 pull. This is number 20. Damn. Nothing. Awful. It's fine. What did I get? Cool. I think that's the same one I got last time. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, worth. <laughs> Who's in the banners? Um. Okay, so there's the new one, Acheron. I already got her on eleven pulls. Um. You also have Gallagher, Pella, and Don Hong for your four stars. Uh, and then there's, um, Luocha. Rerun. Um, then of course you have the light cones. And your standard banner. Which I guess I will use my two pulls on, because we're in that screen. It's not gonna harm anything. <laughs> Ooh! Now I can do this! Now I can do this, guys. I still can't do this. Huh. Crying. Sadly, Kafka's not in it, but Acheron's pretty fucking cool. Acheron's pretty nice. I'm still building her because I just got her today and I didn't actually think I was going to get her. But, you know. <laughs> I also have my black swan i really wanted sparkle i lost my sparkle with uh 81 pulls i failed the 50 50 with uh everyone's favorite japard yep
You love to see it. You love to see it. But if it helps at all, I have brand new codes pinned up in the chat right now. They're brand new. They just came out. I do have drops on. So, hey, if you have been here for a minute, please go ahead and claim your drops. You get like 30 free jade or something just from the drops alone. Um, I I think Akron's worth it. She She's kind of a pain to uh, build, but... Um, I just hate the beetles, the swarm. Uh, so there's that. But I also have Acheron as one of my support characters. If you do want to give her a go, I'm still in the process of building her. Um, I haven't really put much towards her other than getting her level up. She has a decent light cone on. It's, it's not obviously the best for her, but you know, it's something. Uh, I don't want to fully level up this light cone yet, just in case I do pull her light cone. I am trying to save, like, materials and stuff. Um, I'm leveling up her traces. I'm in the process of getting her relics set up. Obviously, I don't have any Eidolons on her. You can add me! You can add me, Skeletor! Everyone's free to add me there you go there's my there's my uid feel feel free but i do think that is going to be it for me today um i i will be playing this game in in my off time as as i always do i i always um, even on the days to where I'm not streaming it, because I try to get most of my progression done um, on stream, um, especially when it comes to story. I'm only going to be doing story on stream. But every day I do log in, I do my like little daily stuffs. Um, all, all of that stuff i i do that every single day uh i'm doing the event things as well so yeah and, and guys don't don't forget to do your your daily check-ins um i don't know how many more days we have of that uh where are we? Oh, we're on... <laughs> well... <laughs> we're on the 28th. I believe that it, it resets every month, so we have until the 31st. Um, but don't forget to do your daily, your daily check-ins. Uh, make sure to claim your drops if you haven't yet. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, now is the perfect time to do so as well. get the codes they are brand new codes you get tons of rewards from them use them they work they're new i promise but yeah I, I do appreciate you all being here with me today. Um, even though I was kind of just going through the story and doing some normal login things and all all of that stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I, I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the follows and the subs and you guys just being here and hanging out. Um, again, now is the perfect time to follow me. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. It helps me reach my goals. I have a subathon coming up on April 6th for my birthday. It will be a uncapped subathon. All of the information for that you can find on my Twitter. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go uh, rest up a little bit, maybe do some video editing, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for, um, 
yeah, community games. Community games. Mm -hmm. And maybe, just maybe, depending, if I have some time, I'll do some ASMR for you guys tomorrow as well after. But again, if you haven't followed me yet, now is the perfect time to do so. I love all of my baby bats. You guys mean so much to me. Go ahead and join my Discord as well through that link there. You can notify when I, for when I go live, when I post on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that stuff, I promise. And our weekly community events. We do have Overwatch community games tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, the last four episodes of the vexations of a uh, vamp whatever i forgot the name already i'll be i'll be 100 percent honest it's i hate long names the vexations of a shut-in vampire princess something like that i listen anime names are getting longer and longer i swear um but we're going to be watching the last four episodes of that Saturday. And then that's that's right before the subathon as well. So there won't be another anime until the subathon is over. Super duper sorry, guys. But I, I, I can't during the subathon. Uh, so check out the Discord. Check out the Discord. I promise it's great. And also check out all of my socials through that link there that has my Patreon, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that stuff. I post all of my VODs to my VOD YouTube channel. Uh, the Coffin of Andy and Lele Part 2 is coming out Sunday. Part 3, I believe, is coming out the Sunday after that. <laughs> so, yeah, check out, check out my YouTube. I am posting on TikTok, but it's going to be hard while I am uh, doing the subathon. So I'm, I'm unsure how that's going to go. Um, but check out all my socials, okay? It helps me out. I post my stream schedule on the Discord, on my Twitter, on Instagram, and I even have it on Twitch for you guys as well. Um, and of course, if you would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, you being here, chatting, following, lurking is great. I appreciate it oh so super duper very much. It really does mean a lot to me. But, but... If you would like to support me further than that, you can sub or use your free Amazon Prime sub on Lul Old Me. It, it helps me out a ton. You get ad free viewing, tons of super duper cute emotes, as well as special roles in the Discord server. We're going to be reading Mato. Mato? Mato? Uh, she's super duper cute. Super duper very cute doing Honkai things. They have drops as well as, you know, all, all of that stuff. All of that stuff. Um, if you would like to support me further than that, you can donate to me through that link there. All that money goes directly towards me. It helps me fund things like the new model and other stream funding projects that I have going on. Like better microphones and the model and all kinds of the games and, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, it helps me fund it. I appreciate it a lot. Or, or you could check out my wish list and choose more directly where the money goes, whether that be to the model, games, microphone upgrades, ASMR stuff. It's all there. It's all there. I promise. Go check it out. Or not. I understand. If you want to add me on Honkai Star Rail and use my Acheron, you are more than free to by using my UID right there. And of course, for all the people alive and awake in my chat, you are going to go ahead and copy and paste that raid message, okay? Please stick around for the raid. It gives you channel points and, you know, it helps support another creator. So, uh, I love you all. Have a good night. I will see you all tomorrow. Mwah.